Hello there and welcome to the new Power BI tutorial where I will going to talk about how you can create the Power BI line and stacked chart. So what is line and stacked chart? Well, as the name suggests, it is a combination of two different charts to reveal some interesting information. So what we will going or how this chart is uh, really looks like. So just to show you, here is the chart and if I just paste it and shrink the size, this is how the chart really looks like, which is the line and stacked chart. So if you see there is a line information and then there is a stack bar chart that we have seen earlier, how we can create that and what sort of information that it reveals. So it, it shows very interesting information where on the X axis, it shows the different categories. So for example, your user is asking a couple of things as uh, how the sales across various different product categories uh, and as well as they want to compare it, the regions as well or the customer segment. So here on the X axis, we have the product category and the customer segment information we have given for each product category. So if that's the ask that on one category, they want to look at how this category is bifurcated by a second category, then you will going to create the stack bar chart, which is straight. But then they come back and tell you that uh, along with the sales information, they also want to look at how much profit they are making. So in that case, we can take the help of the line chart, which is sort of an indicator over here whether there is a profit or there is a loss that they are making in the category, which sparks another conversation altogether as to why this loss is coming in this category or why the profit is so high in a different category, like for example, this one. So how we can create this chart? Let's go ahead in the Power BI and see this. So here we are within the Power BI and what I'll do is first remove this existing chart and here is the option that is present for line and stacked column chart. So once I click it over here, it gives me the blank chart. Now the first thing we need to provide to the shared access is the product subcategory. So you need to make sure that whatever options you are choosing is relevant as per your business users. Or sometimes there may be a multiple iteration as well because sometimes things don't go in the very first shot. So no worries here if, if you are getting it first time wrong when you are utilizing it in the uh, in the actual scenario. So shared access is product subcategory. So on the X axis, that is our shared access for uh, sales and profit. Then the column series is nothing but your bar charts. So for that, we have the uh, customer segment because we want for each product category we want that particular product category bifurcated by the various customer segment. And then we have the column values. So column values is nothing but the bar values. So we will take sales as we want to show the sales information. And finally, what you have, what you need for the uh, line values. So for line values, what you will provide is the profit as the comparison. So once I click it over here on the profit, if I ever find it or I hear it is. Uh, so now you see that we have this profit. So if I just put it in a focus mode. So right now we have this profit chart, uh, profit and sales chart, which is clearly giving you an indication as to how the profit or the sales really looks like. But over here, you know, it, it may give you some sort of uh, indication that uh, here you have the negative sales and here you have the positive sales. But what if, if you want to provide the altogether independent access to the line chart. So right now it is showing you the sales value or the sales access is basically the shared access between both the sales and profit. So for that, what we need is to come over here in the format and over here on the Y axis, what we will going to do is come down and here we will have something which is called as the show secondary. So once we will enable this show secondary, you will see an independent access for the profit, right? And uh, do you want to align the zeros? So right now the value is uh, finishing at zero. So once you click on align zero, it shows much better information because 
in this category you are making losses so earlier it was not revealing because it was ending at zero but as you enable the align zeros it enables this information which is much better to spark the conversation about what's really going on over here similarly if you see uh, it may sometimes give the incorrect information so interpretation is very important here we have a sales which is uh, close to uh, 0.8 million or close to 1 million or 0.9 million uh, sorry 1.9 million but no i'm wrong so close to 1 million and your profit looks like is beyond 1 million so in that case you need to make sure that you are educating your use users that it is not actually 1 million but 300k so that sort of uh, information or that sort of education is sometimes necessary uh, whenever we are having the independent y-axis for the line chart because it may result into the wrong interpretation of data however this information where the you are making the uh, losses is something more useful in this scenario um, so yeah that's mainly about it but you can uh, basically look at the various different uh, formatting options again very much specific to how each individual wants or how each company uses but that's at a high level how you can create the stack power and the line chart within the power bi to reveal some interesting information now i'll meet you in the next topic